Hello folks, I'm OdinSpack33, and welcome back to Let's Play The Messenger, Picnic Panic. This is part 26 of the overall Let's Play and part 4 of the DLC. Last time we finished the, uh, <laughs> bring up the map here, the Voodkin Shore. Um, we fought the Totem Boss, and we made our way into Fire Mountain, getting a few mask pieces, and listened to this banger song. <laughs> so I did it again. Um... <laughs> I already recorded this, and I forgot to record the audio again. I did it twice during this project. Now, thankfully, it wasn't so bad. I had a save. I had a backup save from from the end of the game, so this really wasn't too hard to get back here. But yeah, I I did it again. So if any of the numbers look off, I guess mostly the time shards. Uh, that's why. <laughs> I'm so upset that I did it twice. Oh, man, but hey, guess what? You know what that means? Unlike my first recording of this, I'm super practiced, which means we're not going to die once, right? That's what that means. We're not going to die even one time. We're going to do the rest of this just one shot, and I'm going to feel really good. And, you know, what's good is at least I know, like, what I have to look forward to still, and what's left of the game, which is awesome. Um, it's, it's so upsetting, because I was... It was taking me a while to get through uh, the messenger, like it really was. Um, I didn't really want to record it, not that I wasn't having a good time with it, but I don't know, it just wasn't happening. And, you know, I finally got to it, and then that happened. And it's just so disappointing that I somehow failed the recording. Like, what was I doing? Like, oh, well anyway, the sound is most definitely recording now, so uh, we, we are in this for... You know, the long haul. This, this is it. We're gonna keep cheesing with this uh, windmill shuriken because it's just absolutely super cheap. So, it's, it's so good. Oh my goodness, I almost died right there. Hey, I said I wasn't gonna die. So, you know, almost die isn't really dying. We're gonna rope dart our way across here. Look at that. Look how risky that was. There was only one chance at that. I felt so confident in my ability to do that that we just went for it. Ignore that shop there. We don't really need to go to the shop much anymore. Uh, you can see a mask piece over there, so we're going to have to, once again, uh, switch uh, to the future, which is in this screen somewhere. We're going to find it. There's our little gate. we got to make our way back down. Just, thankfully, that's really easy. Just do that. And just rope dart our way over here. Love the rope dart. Don't you guys love the rope dart? These guys dropping their, I don't know, projectiles, but really a bunch of nothing. Look at that crystal, like, pumpkin over there. Isn't that kind of cool? I guess. All right, let's, let's nail this section right here. The really weird wingsuit. You know how much I love the wingsuit in this. Just huge fan. But, man, this song here, man, this slaps. Like, it's so good. <laughs> They, uh, they saved one of the best for last, I think, in this one. I, I'm a real big fan of this theme. It definitely has that, like, final area vibes to it. Uh, Picnic Panic is not very long, so, you know, it's gonna be wrapping up here pretty soon, which, you know, makes me feel a little, a little bad that it took me so long to, you know, record the rest of it. It's kind of my bad, but, you know, we're here now, so there's no use complaining anymore. Let's jump on this bird with this anvil. <laughs> so funny like what a that, that's like a, a straight-up like Looney Tunes like gag or something or you know like Ultros <laughs> Take me at least five minutes to move this <laughs> Oh Man ignore me. I have you know, I have many more projects. I need to do in the future Maybe Final Fantasy 6 will one day happen. It could I don't know, I really like it. We've never done a Final Fantasy game. Maybe it'll be that one. Who knows? It could be anything. It could even be Final Fantasy VI. All right, this is not our last mask piece. For some reason, I was thinking that was it. All right, we gotta get up here really cool. I did not mean to throw that windmill shirk in there. We did that one shot. Gee, I wonder if maybe it's because I'm a tad practiced <laughs> from maybe attempting this before. Oops. All right, there's our last mask piece. That actually is the last mask piece too. Uh, so 
You know, there's a little more to the game, but yeah, that is that is it. That's <laughs> not not a not a whole lot more to it. So, what could that possibly mean? Man, I love these upward sections. You know how much I love these. Like so much. Like so cool, right? Just this this game. This this is what it excels at best is its upward platforming. They just killed it because you know. Because of the cloud step, it just makes it so satisfying. Oh, I messed that up. No. Okay. Well, I think I need that bat uh, to get up there. So we're gonna have to respawn by going in and out of this door. I just tried to jump, like just without cloud stepping. All right, that, there we go. That was that was a weird way to do that, but I succeeded, so I'm not gonna complain. All right, so let's. Make our way through here. And hopefully not mess this up. Whoa! I did. Oh man. I gotta be honest. I made this look way cooler on, <laughs> on the first go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I used the windmill last time too. Oh well. You know what? Whatever. It doesn't matter. That take doesn't exist anymore. You know, I could edit in showing how cool I did that in one go, but it wouldn't really matter. I definitely almost died there too, so... You know, I definitely almost fell in the lava, which we can run on. I guess, you know, I kind of forgot, you know, we got the light foot tabby, so I could have I run on it, uh, but I almost, you know, didn't. <laughs> I almost took a, a, a dip in the drink, as they say. Uh, do they say that? I, I don't think so. All right, so now we actually have all the mask pieces, uh, as you can see on the bottom right there. It's all complete there. So yeah, 10 out of 10, 4 out of 4. Uh, but there's actually nothing... Well, I don't know why I really came in here. Um, that's kind of it, so... I guess I kind of want to just show that, I suppose. There we go. We had to be in the future. I love the future theme so much of this. It's so cool. It sounds so good. You know, as much as I love all of the, you know, 8-bit stuff, I... Because I really mostly do. I don't know. It just... It rocks in this one. Now here we go, we got some cutscene. How punctual of you, messenger. So it really is you. I thought you died during the explosion in the underworld. You really, you think that's all it would take to get rid of me? I told you once, you son of a scribe, I'm the fastest there's ever been. Release the Phobicans now and be gone, demon, or I'll defeat you again. Well, I wouldn't drag you all the way out here just to lose another duel. See, this magic seed is almost done absorbing voodoo energy, and when it's ready, you will see who has the last laugh. Voodoo energy? In this land, fear can be converted. And when it comes to fear, these little guys are an endless supply. In order to fully charge the magic seed, I need to scare them good. To that effect, I should thank you for stepping right into my trap. By that trap, I mean voodoo altar! Now don't move, messenger. It's not like you could anyway. What? Ha 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 ha! What's happening? We're, we're done, right? This is it? Just dunk us in the volcano? Or not. At last, the Dark Messenger is born! The Heart of Fire Mountain awaits you too, where I place voodoo idols with the perfect enchantment to damage greed demons. Get to enough idols first and Dark Quarble will be de defeated. Fail and you will lose your own protector, leaving you completely exposed for the Dark Messenger to take your life. So let us see how you fare in a race against yourself, Ninja. You won't get away with this. Look on the bright side. You won't have to see what happens to the Phobicans next. Oh, I don't like this at all. Please save us. Enough of your complaining. Now, how does the saying go? Oh, yeah. Godspeed, Messenger. <laughs> okay, not cool. Hey, why didn't you show up earlier? I'm not talking to Pirate Face ever again. Hmm? Look, can we just prevent this? I'd rather not die. Quick, let's go. What does this mean? That outfit. He must be from the clan that taught me how to cloud step. This probably means... Quibble. Hey, Monk. I think I found another clue related to the cultists. The primal fear can wait. I think we're at one of the branching points mentioned by the Prophet. Oh, with that Quarbel guy? Yes, it all makes sense now. Please look after them. Right away. And hey, we got the 16-bit monk. We haven't seen that yet, so that's kind of cool. I guess in this alternate timeline, that exists. Alright. 
Oh, yeah, hold on. We got dialogue first. <laughs> so, hold on. Let's uh, let's talk to uh, the shopkeep first. What am I supposed to do here? I'm not sure what's going on, but I strongly suggest you give your best shot to this race against your evil twin. Any stories to share? Do you have any stories to share? I do, but you should really get back to chasing the dark messenger. I will tell you a good one after you save the day. Alright, well, we don't really get to know anything, so... Also, this is the voodoo heart. So, there you go. In the volcano. Or in, in Fire Mountain, sorry. Alright, and now here's a new mechanic here where we have to race against the dark messenger here. Did I get it? No, I, I guess it doesn't count, but... Yeah, so there's li little challenges here where we have to race as fast as we can against our alter ego here. And if we succeed, then we will cause damage to the dark uh, horrible. Uh, and if we fail, well, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what happens. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, baby, you die forever? <laughs> Somehow doubt it. All right, there we go. That was a lot better. And the messenger just rocks this vertical platforming. Oh yeah, rope dart really good against uh, you know that little wall thing. Oh come on! How was I even supposed to do against that? That's I'm definitely not winning this one. Oh, also if you um, if you lose all your health in these sections, that also counts as losing a room. So it honestly might just kind of be worth it for me to take the death here. Um, because I don't see me winning, so I'd rather just get all my health back instead. I think that was a smarter idea. Oh, well, that was bad. Well, I'm going to lose this room, too. I just, you know, I'm just hamming it up for the for the camera, obviously. You know, uh, duh. Oh, man, did, did I just destroy that room? I guess I did. The Dark Messenger was like nowhere to be seen there. And I guess they got a head start too. That's not fair. There's nothing I could have done about that. Oh, come on. Whew, there we go. We won, and you know, <laughs> you know, on my first attempt, it was a lot closer than that. <laughs> but you'll never see that. I may have gotten to literally the last try on my actual attempt. Um, but anyway, uh, that's where we're going to end the video. It seems like it's over too soon. But uh, this is a really good ending spot, honestly. So... Because uh, I'm not doing no extras video, so we're seeing the rest of the game. That's right. The next part is truly the end of the messenger and the messenger picnic panic. So thank you so much for watching. I've been Odin Spec 33, and uh, well, hold on. <laughs> Actually, we gotta do this altar stuff. My bad. We got one more thing. I uh, I fooled you. Is that the altar I saw at the top of Fire Mountain? Why, yes, it is. I thought it'd be a cool addition to my shop. What happened to the cage monster thing? It was useless, so I got rid of it. For now, I'm just using the altar to store any voodoo feathers and mass pieces you find. Looks like you've gathered all the voodoo feathers and mass pieces. Let's activate the altar and see what happens. Soaking! <laughs> like the mask, like smoking. Great, I hate this thing already. Maybe saying this now, but I bet the wonders of my comedy will grow on you in no time. Oh yeah? Do you wanna, do you have a, I'm sorry, go ahead, you were gonna say? I meant to offer an example of how great I am at comedy. I'm listening, okay. All right, I've got a good one. What is Ruxton's favorite fruit? The spine apple. Get it? I get it, yes. And, and I wish I didn't activate the altar. Oh, I'll grow on you, you'll see. All right, welcome, adventure. Hey, so what's... Oh, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, please, you know you. I was just going to... I was just curious what... There's too many people in this shop. You're here first, messenger, so go ahead. I just want to understand what the deal is with this mask. 
The deal, what an ironic choice of words. I am indeed here to offer you a deal, available to New Game Plus adventures exclusively. Do come and see me if you're interested to learn more about the deal. In the meantime, I'll be sharing the occasional joke for your entertainment. Alright, let's get one more joke, and then we'll truly end this video. Hey, listen to this one. Why does Pyro the Phobican refuse to work out? Refuse do- Refuse do work out! <laughs> oh, sabotage. You need to- You need to proofread this. Because apparently it burns calories. Alright. <laughs> All right, we're gonna end on this screen of silence. So thank you so much for watching. I've been Odin Smack 33. This is truly the end of the video. So uh, I will see you for the finale of the messenger. So until then, take care and goodbye.